Tom. What was that all about, Crystal? What do you mean? Is it true? Did you really fly with Wolf and his cronies? You hurt me, Fox. I was upset. I, I wanted to get back at you. I did what I did because I was worried about you. I didn't want you to be hurt. That's why I said it would be better if you left the team. I know that. I can't believe you just up and vanished. And then to top it off, you joined Star Wolf. What were you thinking? Hey, Fox, maybe you should throttle down a little. You're not blameless in this, buddy. I understand how she feels. Falco's right! Crystal just wanted to be with you forever and ever and ever! That's all! I mean, sheesh, couldn't you see that? I'm not the one who got close to Wolf. Uh, I'm the one who got close to Wolf. I'm the one who convinced them to help. Speaking of Wolf and the others, what happened to them? Uh, I was with them up until we destroyed the Angler Headquarters. The one at the bottom of the Venom Sea. When we were finished, our ships began to corrode. When we pulled out, we ended up getting scattered. You flew to, uh, into the Venom Sea? That thing is pure acid! You're crazy! Right, I've heard enough. We're going into the uh, into fight the Angler Emperor right now. Will you help us, Crystal? I'm sorry about all this, Fox. No more apologies. Not from you. I was wrong. You know, I'm worried about Wolf and his crew. Really? Once the fighting's done, I think we should go and look for them. Hey, hold on there, Fox! Let's just leave those goons to their fate! Listen up, all of you! We're going to take down the Angler Emperor! Once we're done, uh, we'll continue looking for Wolf and his gang! I don't know... I'd like to say that I hate this plan, but I don't. I guess it works for me. Fox, guys, I'm sorry for all the trouble. Don't cry to me when this all goes wrong! Oh, it plays like a bad fanfic. Every time, all the time. Oh, do I get a chance to use this effect now? Emperor Angler, sir. Shall we continue on to Cornaria? Not yet, Sazan. Let us rendezvous with the others for other units first. We are patient. Let those fools sweat for a little while longer. But sir, if I may speak, our entire unit in Sector Z has been wiped out. We believe Star Fox's companions are the ones responsible. It is of no matter. Let us prepare for a, uh, a greeting for our new friend. Yes, my emperor. Listen up, everyone! We're going to bring the, uh, the fight to the enemy! It's time to settle this once and for all! This all out- this is all out war! Fly safe and watch your backs! If things get too hairy, we fall back and regroup, understood? Fall back? But <laughs> that's not how I like to do things! Stick around, you angler worms! We're coming for you. Crystal, don't try to take on more than you have to. Okay. We're clear on that, right? Fox, listen, I think... All ships prepped and ready for launch? Team Star Fox, attack! Isn't it usually let's move out? Let's go! Leave it to me! On my way! Let's go! Hello everybody, Tom Fox here, welcome you back to more Star Fox Command! In the last episode, well, uh, we got Crystal back on our side, and now we have, uh, the full Star Fox team, at least in terms of, uh, Star Fox Assault, back and, uh, ready for action. One mistake could cost you your life. The last roll of the dice, they're not, they're gonna come in hot. How's the Cloud Runner treating you, Crystal? Well, I never thought I'd fly her again. How are you? Is everyone, uh, okay, is everyone ready? Whatever it takes, uh, make sure you can still get home in one piece. Alright, let's start, uh, plotting a trail here. Got another base up in this direction. What's this? A small but very fast fighter. Crystal's gonna go for that. Slippy's gonna engage the fighter. Falco's gonna head up to this base over here. 
I should be able to make it to him in one shot, and then Fox is gonna, uh, go around wide this way to see what else could be coming. Ready? Let's rock and roll! Alright, well, everybody's got some combat they can look forward to here. Alright, who should we start off with? I'm gonna start off with Fox. All right, we got our fishy friends up on our side here. Or rather, we got some fishy friends. We gotta, we gotta martellate first. All right, we got about a third of them down. Oh, one's right there. Oh boy. All right. Get a couple of those in there. We're halfway through. Just a few more groups left. Like, I don't want to see what other enemies are going to be uh, lurking around here. Oh man, I, I thought I ran into that. What is this? It's just an enemy on a rock, I suppose. Got some more time, good. I, I'm trying to remember when I played this game initially. I think it was a sophomore in high school when this game came out. That's probably around the time when I played it. Oh, the stupid fish. Wasted all my time, fish! Alright. This is Fox. Target has been destroyed. Got some nice hits in there and some more, uh, some more health. Or some more fuel, I should say. Twelve already. But who to play as next? Let's go for... Falco's got the uh, the snails coming at him. Let's go with Slippy. I'm interested in this uh, enemy here. Oh, I've, I've, you, I've fought this enemy before. Every time I take a shot at them, they uh, the, the angle of the laser switches. Well done. Nice. Although, here, oh, actually, that works out perfectly because do that they get caught in the blast, and I can just run over there and get a replacement bomb. Oh, there's still one left. Okay, hold on. Pulling a Yui. Oh no, I uh, they died apparently. Target destroyed! Oh, the bombs are so useful, especially against enemies like that. Hey, Einstein, I'm on your side! Alright, we're gonna be using, uh... Let's go for Crystal's base next. All right, we got a new uh, ship now. She's not using her Cornarian fighter. She's using what I, I believe this is called the Cloud Runner. Which has, uh, which boasts twin lasers. Uh, I don't know what the lock-on pattern is. I, I know it's better than the regular her normal Cornarian ship though. Try and get as many supplies as we can, because we're gonna need them all for uh, the upcoming battle with the Angler Emperor. Got that one. There's one left, but there's only two uh, enemies left on, on the screen here. So the way I see it, might as well go for them all. I don't remember if we've ever cleared uh, an entire screen of enemies, but I believe you get some kind of bonus for it. We're about to find out, though. So we slowly make our way in there, lock on, and excellent. One enemy left. Perfect! Now we just gotta go for the mothership and the, and the beacons. 
All right. We'll start off by spinning. Then boost. Then boost. Then boost. Then up. Then up. Then up. Then up. Then up. There's no escape for you. Beat him up. Ooh. Perfect. I don't believe we got any bonus for that, unfortunately. Oh, well. We did get a lot coming back to the ship, though, for taking out that base. All we got left now is Falco at the, uh, at this base over here. Well, that thing sounds terrifying. Whew! I got a lot of time for that. And some more! Oh, I see. I was locked under their shell. That would explain a lot. Falco's taking some damage. I killed him. So at least there's that. Oh, I should have waited on that one because then I could have done this. Fly into the bombs. Huh. I guess their shell prevents them from being hit by bombs as well. There we go. Also, one thing I forgot to mention earlier on is that each ship has its own time gain from doing barrel rolls uh, into enemy uh, shots. So you see, like, Falco's getting plus three to his time. Oh, boy. Plus three to his time. I need to get some health here. Uh, every time he deflects one of those, whereas, like, Fox and Slippy will probably only get plus two. Oh, boy. Here it comes. Oh, that was a big hit. Oh, I didn't kill him. Open up, open up. Grab it. Okay, thank goodness. Whew. If I come across a health uh, thing, it's gonna go to Falco. Right. This is a long one. Don't go too high. Bam! Where you think you're going? Oh. Uh... Clear! And we got it. Nice. Whew. I hope this doesn't end up being a very short episode. Uh, it very well might be, because this is actually the last one of the story mission. Anything else around here? Some time? Not really. Let's have Falco get the health. Crystal can start making her way through the asteroid field this way. Slippy can intercept the missile. Fox will come up over this way. And yeah, the great fox unfortunately cannot take down missiles, so... It doesn't quite work out that way. Let's rock and roll! Intercepting the missile. Ooh! There was a fighter! Glad it ended up hitting the, uh... Hitting the, uh, the, the ship there. All right, let's go for the missile first. Oops. Let's go, Slippy! Follow the beacons to track the missile. If I lose the beacons, I lose the missile, even though I, can, I still have visual contact with it. But space is weird like that, so, you know. Oh, it's very tough to stay in the, the, this thing's slipstream. Good lord, I made it. Whew. All right, next up is going to be... Crystal! We'll just take him down a peg or two, this giant dragon. It's actually... This, uh, one thing I've been, I haven't mentioned up until this point is the, uh, the influence... Uh, 
uh, Star Fox 2, the un back when Star Fox 2 was unreleased, the influence it had on this game. Um, a lot of like the, uh, oh boy, that's a lot of segments you got there, Buster Brown. Uh, the, the influence of, uh, Star Fox 2 on this game. Man, look at all the fuel I have. Uh, this enemy actually looks like one of the bosses from Star Fox 2. But I can't remember its name off the top of my head right now. That's how you do it. That ain't working. That's the way you do it. Stars for nothing and your ships for free. Mirage Dragon. Thank you. Thank you, chat, for reminding me of that one. Alright, that's it for that turn. Nine cores remaining, and I don't know if any uh, new ships have- Up, oh, yep, uh, a fiver has come out. Had a bit of trouble making our way through the asteroid field, but that's just how it's gonna have to be for now. Let's go ahead and take turn three. I can sense the enemy attack. Let's go. Boom! Asteroid surface. Let's take him out. All right. Whoa, they're already firing off. Ah, they're flying in groups of three, eh? Dead. Excellent. I don't remember if I mentioned this before, but uh, you can lock up, lock on up to five times, and uh, when the enemy is guaranteed to be destroyed by it, it'll just have a diamond for it, but you can lock on up to five times otherwise. Whoa, I didn't think I killed that thing? What was that? Got that one down. I'm actually playing this with the uh, with the the Wii U gamepad tilted sideways, uh, partly because it gives me the highest uh, resolution bang for my buck. I'm also playing this. Uh, I've showed this off on stream once before, but uh, I am also playing it. Uh... Oh God! I'm also playing it uh, with the. I'm also playing it with my with the monitor that I'm playing this on tilted sideways as well. Open up, open up, open up. It didn't open up. I still my time just meandering around here. Come here. Dead and gone. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Boo! Crystal here. Enemy destroyed. Got all that back. You have only two turns to destroy the enemy. Everybody should be able to make it there. With the exception of Falco, yeah. Alright. We got the mothership. A lot of people in my chat are asking why uh, the... I'll start with Slippy on this one. Are asking why the uh, voices in this game sound like Animal Crossing. It's actually more of a reference back to when... Um, back to the original Star Fox. Oh boy, I almost dropped my gamepad. Uh, a reference back to the original Star Fox uh, with the way they would talk there. More so of just like... Uh, of just like, you know, sort of... Uh, standard like chirps. For it, basically. I got one. You certainly did, Slippy. You really did it. Right. Last one is right there. Right on. Right there. Right on. Right there. I've got bombs to spare, though, so why don't we... Oh, 
Did none of those? Oh, they did die. Okay. I was hoping they dropped stuff, but they didn't. Did I not grab the core? Oh, I didn't kill the last one. Where? What? Not the laser. There we go. And there's only one left. Oh, damn it, I missed the ring. Depth, per depth perception in this, in this game is a little bit weird, especially coming from a small screen. Lather is Douglas. Very expensive. When you're going for these attacks here, it's better to get your uh, your uh, barrel roll started sooner rather than later. But with Slippy, it's a little bit difficult because he's got such a, um, a small gauge. So you kind of have to, well, gauge it. All right, I believe that's everything. Got some fuel tanks there, and then... No forgiveness, no mercy. I will fight you to the death. The Arrowhead, which very well might also be a reference to the Mirage Dragon. Since it looks very similar. Let's go with Fox since he hasn't seen much action here. I have never seen such a massive enemy. He is composed of many parts, each having their own health bar and able to fire off shots on their own. See if we can get him at all. Looks like we got a couple pieces of him. Uh, we've almost killed him, actually, it looks like. Ooh, and the separated parts are, uh, are launching their own attacks as well. So I need to be careful of that. Run, coward! Now for this final phase, uh, he's going to randomly uh, push back or throw some of the parts of his ship at me and I just gotta shoot them back and him at the same time, which actually, if you aim at him, it, that doesn't, uh, it's no big deal at all because they'll always come right at the center of your fire space. But with that little wiggle we had there, uh, Fox has, uh, has done it. The Team Star Fox has taken down the Angler Empire. The Order we did it! We defeated the Angler forces! Woohoo! We- I knew we could do it! Take that, bait breath! It was a bit hairy at times, but we made it through! The most important thing is that we all made it back alive. I have picked up Star Wolf on the radar! Eh? Complete mission! Done it! Asteroid Belt Angler. Gain another life in the process, which is kind of pointless considering we are, uh, well, at the end of the game. Wolf! Now you've gone and stolen my prey, Fox. How is it you always manage to swoop in and spoil things? We needed this one, but you wet nosed whelps had to ruin it all. Ah, uh, quit your whining, Fuzzy. We'll make sure that the bounty's taken off of your heads. Wolf, Panther, Leon, thank goodness you're not hurt. 
It was a barrel of laughs, princess. Although I think the old panther is uh, feeling a bit heartbroken. It was a pleasure for Panther too, darling. Your feelings. Panther understood them, but... Panther, I... Panther does not believe you were using him. Ha! <laughs> then what were you crying about earlier, eh, lover boy? We'll meet again, Star Fox. Farewell, my sweet crystal. You will return to, to us one day. This, Panther believes. Yeah. Sorry about all that. Um... Looks like Star Wolf is really mellowed out! That's nice to see! Yeah, that's Crystal's doing right there. I think you're right. Thanks, all of you. We are receiving communication from General Peppy. Fox, great job! As a former Star Fox member myself, I am so proud right now! As much as I would love to take all the credit, General, I can't. This battle was fought on, on behalf of peace-loving people everywhere. They gave us the strength to fight. We owe them our victory. Hmm, I see. That means that peace is going to return to this galaxy! Yay! Well, I guess that's a good thing. Although I'm at, uh, I'm gonna be bored out of my skull. If you'll excuse us, General, we'll take our leave. Wait, let me just say one more thing. You are a great leader, Fox McCloud. Perhaps even better than your father. You've really grown up, and I'm extremely proud. That's all I have to say. Th thanks, Peppy. Falco, Slippy, this unit only works because of you. I hope Fox can count on you in the future. Psh, I know that, old-timer. You don't have to spell it out for me. You hang in there, Peppy. And Crystal, thank you for coming back. If anything happens, you can always count on me. Thank you, Peppy. Great Fox, ready for launch. Rob, come about and take us through the access route. Yeah, baby! Team Star Fox, launch! We're headed back to Aquas. The members of Star Fox had reunited once more. Again, they put differences to one side and took the fight to the enemy. And when the dust cleared, peace had once again returned to Lilat. Yet Fox is still troubled by complicated feelings. Months pass. One dark day, Crystal makes a star startling confession. Fox, I'm sorry. I can't do this anymore. I'm going back with Panther and the rest of Starwolf. Fox is overcome by grief and begged Crystal to say, stay, but her mind was, st uh, was set. Once again, Fox McCloud was forced to wander the world alone and unloved, but Crystal has no such regrets. She is perhaps the toughest of all the pilots, and she proves it by starting a new life in the elite squadron Starwolf. And that is one of the first of many endings to Star Fox Command. Next time on Star Fox Command, we're going to take a little trip down a different route. See you all then. Later. Oh, before that, though, the key of destiny is in your hands, but the road to the future contains many paths. The fate of Fox and his companions has been entrusted to you. That's to the that's a, a message to say that uh, that we have uh, unlocked more paths that were locked before now later